What's up guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've got a bunch of Roblox news here for you, all sorts of new items, some leaks, events, things coming up here in the future, but as always, during this Roblox news video, I am going to be giving away, well actually, you guys are going to be able to find visually hidden 12 digits in this video. First person to find those 12 digits and enter them at roblox.com slash toys slash redeem is going to get this item right here, the biannual pass holder. So this is a Roblox item that comes with a Roblox toy, so the first person to get it and enter that is going to be the one person who gets it. If it says it's invalid after you've got all of them, then it means someone probably got it before you. But if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys are notified and you have a better chance of showing up early and getting some of these virtual items that we like to give away during these videos. So speaking of pass holder and something that you would need a pass for, RDC 2021 has been announced. We've got some information about this. It sounds like October is when it's going to be. Uh, now, normally RDC was something that happened in July. Now, it's July. It's not happening this month. Sounds like it's going to be a hybrid event that starts in October this year. So uh, that'll be interesting. We're just going to be waiting a little bit longer than we usually do. Uh, some of the details with this whole thing is October 9th through 10th uh, before RDC is when they're going to be doing the virtual game jam. So the developers are going to be able to get together and do that. The RDC dates are Thursday, October 14th through October 16th, a Saturday. And pretty much from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. is when all the activities will be going on. Usually when this happens, there's some videos that go out, some leaks, some updates, some things that come out that are pretty juicy. So I'm going to make sure I make videos to keep you guys updated on all the things that come out during this RDC event. Pretty sure I won't get an invite. I mean, I've helped with dev of some things here and there, but as far as like uh, basic, like more like a complex modeling and coding, I haven't really done that. But I mean, I, it, it'd be really cool. It'd be, it'd be really cool. I've helped with some QA and some other things. But anyways, uh, so so yeah, this is going to be the event. It is going to be a uh, both in-person and virtual event, but it's going to be invite only again. So uh, tickets are limited, first come, first serve situation. So there's going to be more information about RDC 2021 in the future, and I will be sure to keep you guys caught up. Can't wait for this because there's always really some good information that comes out of this event. Also, check this out. We've got Nerf Toys in Roblox. It looks like Asimo got his guns, so he actually modeled these himself. Himself. So if you guys are wondering, uh, a lot of these Nerf guns, we're going to take a look at all of these. This one seems to have a jailbreak theme. Now, if you scroll down and you see some information about it, uh, he's kind of wondering uh, why it doesn't look like they're inside the game. It says they're actually identical to their pistol and revolver, revolver that are inside the game. So they're just brightly colored, obviously, for obvious reasons. They're not black guns. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, these are modeled after guns that are actually inside of the jailbreak game. So that is really cool. I don't think you can purchase these that just yet, but I think at this point, the devs were able to get those, but these also come with a virtual code that you can get something here inside of Roblox, and these guns have actually made it to the catalog. Uh, still, again, you have to be able to purchase the guns to be able to get them, but I'm pretty sure you're going to see them in a store near you fairly soon, but these are the jailbreak ones. Uh, not only do you get them IRL when you buy them, but then you get an item that you enter, and, uh, and then you get a virtual item in Roblox as well. Uh, inside the game of course you can have them but they're a different color this is a back item too not all of them are back items you will see we've got some other ones over here with different games and different themes this one right here says strucid so this is a strucid boom strike which is a really cool looking gun i think it's a gun inside of the strucid game mostly it's first person shooter games we got a phantom forces uh boxy buster i'm pretty sure that's a gun inside of that game that's one that you can buy mad city plasma ray there's another one that you can get now these other ones are all waste items so i'm pretty sure they'll just kind of be sitting at the character's hip when they're wearing them. Uh, but yeah, this is another code that you can get. Uh, but that one is Mad City themed. We've got another one here, which is MM2 Shark Seeker. Now, I saw a post that Jaunty actually 3D modeled this one years ago. So I'm pretty sure that the dev of MM2 did not model this one. So why it's being used in MM2, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a gun that you can get inside of MM2 as well. Anyways, looks really cool. The little shark fins on the side. If I'm going to buy one, it might be like this one or uh let's see this one's interesting right here adopt me bees okay as far as i know there is no guns in adopt me uh but yeah this one looks like it's got a, a bunch of honey on it so it's like a bee swarm simulator slash adopt me slash 
I don't know. It doesn't make sense. It's a gun and none of those games have guns. <laughs> what are you guys' thoughts on that? I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, right here, the Arsenal Pulse Laser. This is another one. It's uh, it's a gun inside of the game that you can get and use, which is a very powerful gun that I like to use. But this is actually my favorite one so far right here of these of these Nerf, Nerf guns. I, I, I think that one's actually pretty cool. And I'd probably want to get that one to actually play with it. But you know what we like to do here. When we get virtual items, we like to give them away to you guys. So that's probably what we're going to be doing. Uh, right here, we've got some new items here. Here for the month of July that we're going to go over. Now, these are for uh, gift card items. We're going to show you how to get all of these. This one right here, the Domino Top Hat. So uh, this one says that you can redeem it from getting a gift card directly from roblox.com slash, slash gift cards. Now, this one's only available in the US, Canada, and the UK. I'm not sure, but it's a pretty dapper looking hat there. I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. I like it. It's a pretty dapper looking hat, and it's got dominoes on it, and things with dominoes and Roblox just are always rare and expensive and cool for some reason. Uh, now, right here, another one, Beach Ready Pauldrons. This is another one that you can get from Amazon. Or this is one that you can get from Amazon dot com slash roblox now when you buy things at amazon or from roblox gift cards sometimes there's like bonus items that you can get uh and it's just like some of them are for if you get ten dollars some are if you get 25 some are if you if you get 50 it doesn't say the amount that you have to spend to get these ones but it does say that this is an amazon one that you can get uh this one's another one that you can get from amazon not sure what the value is it doesn't exactly say it right here but this is a beach set backpack so a pretty cool backpack which would have an umbrella that sticks up so it's almost like two items it's like a hat item and a back item. I kind of like this one, and it's got a perfect like summer theme to it. So that's another one that you can get from getting gift cards over at Amazon.com. Right here, the Tiki Mask hat. It's a hat, not a, not a face accessory. So I guess it'd probably sit on top of your head. Anyways, there's another one you can get from Amazon.com slash Roblox. So you can go to Amazon.com slash Roblox and get those. But of course, then there's the the dapper hat that you can get here from roblox.com slash gift cards. If you look on this website, I can try to refresh here. It usually takes a day or two before they actually get it updated, but I'm pretty sure that these are not going to be the bonus items right here that are showing. I don't think we can get the shoulder item, and I don't think we can get this. And if we scroll down, all of these items are showing all of the old June items in here as well. So they definitely need to update this, so don't be fooled by what's on here. It's going to be these items that we're showing you here today. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go get those and you don't have any stores around you to get Roblox cards, roblox.com slash gift cards is a good place to go we've got some other items here that we can get from getting gift cards from different stores fitting the summer theme and uh so we've got a hat here flamingo floaty hat of course there's other flamingo items in here and i think this one might actually be pretty popular because well people love flamingo but this is if you get a card from target uh, in in July of 2021. Now, if you buy it in July and enter it in August, it'll be a different thing. So it talks about uh, when you actually redeem the card is and who it's from. Uh, if you don't end up getting the item that you're expecting, I've had that happen before. I got something from Target and I got a totally different item than I was expecting. You can go to roblox.com slash support, uh, keep your receipt and show all that information and you should be able to get whatever you were supposed to be getting that way. Next thing right here is an inner tube necklace, a cool little necklace that you can get from redeeming a card from CVS in the US in July of 2021. Next thing right here, a moray eel friend uh, pretty ugly looking thing, but again, you know, eels are pretty ugly looking. It just looks, uh, it looks like a Shrek eel, I'm not going to lie. But you get this one from Select Merchants, which is usually like Circle K, 7-Eleven, anything that's not listed in some of these other ones. Right here, the Fishbone Backpack. Oh my god, that's a big fish, but it's a dead fish, it's a skeleton. Anyways, you get this if you enter a card from Walgreens in July of 2021. Next thing right here, Dual Pool Noodles, try to say that one ten times fast. This one you get from entering a card from Costco in July of 2021. Next one right here, Angry Seagull, something you can get from entering a Roblox card from Aldi. It's a shoulder pal. It's be that's better that way. If it's gonna poop, it's gonna poop on your shoulder and not on your head. I wouldn't. I, the seagulls seem to be aiming for your head most of the time. Uh, next one right here, the scuba tank, not for sale, but you can get it from entering a gift card from EB Games or GameStop in July of 2021. And it looks like this is a back item, probably oversized like so so many others. Uh, now this is a, a beach ball, which is a back item. Very interesting. A ball as a back item. Doesn't have straps or anything. Very, very weird. But this is if you enter a Roblox card from Walmart or ASDA, ASDA, in uh, July of 2021. And uh, next one right here, Sandcastle Pauldrons. This is something that you can get if you enter a gift card from Best Buy 
in the U.S. in July of 2021. Uh, next thing right here, this is a leaked item, actually, that we found on Rollamon's Leaks. This is Gold Balloons. It's not on the catalog yet, but it says right here in the description, perfect for your next celebration on Roblox. Could be a summer theme. Roblox's birthday is early, I think September 1st or something. So in just two months, it's going to be their birthday. So maybe this is a bonus item that we'll be able to get for a birthday. We haven't seen a promo code item in a while, so it'd be nice to see a promo code item as well. So who knows what this is going to be from, but it's going to be coming here in the future. Now we've got some, some of these bundles here that hit the catalog. You can't actually buy them yet, but it does have a description uh, about the character. This is Bully the Roblox expert. Are you sure it's not Blippy? Looks like Blippy. Uh, I think I think these guys are showing off some of the layered clothing. So I think that they've got separate shoes. I think the necklaces could be something separate. Uh, the shoulder items. I, I think they're working on some continuous looking like Arthro, but more kind of realistic, but anime looking avatars. But this is the first one. We're gonna show you some of these other ones they've got right here. Stylish May right here. She's stylish, I guess. Uh, and she has incredible style. So looking stunning. Okay, Stylish May. Still, again, have no idea how we can get these, if we can get these, what they're for. It would be really cool if these were free because uh, it seems like another level of Arthro. And when some of the Arthro things came out at first, they gave us some free bundles. So that would be really cool. Roblox, free bundles, please. Next one right here, uh, XW the Singer sings with his guitar at Cultural Square every night at 7 p.m. So maybe we can go there and ask him what he's doing here. Uh, but yeah, he's got some, some shorts there. I think they've just separated things. And if they run... I think these uh, these avatars, their body parts are supposed to be a little bit more connected. Like uh, a lot of these other bundles, if you run, like the knees kind of separate and the elbows separate. And it's very modular, so I think they're trying to go for a more smooth looking design with these bundles. Uh, this one right here is Luo. With this coat on, I'm not afraid of the cold temperatures anymore. So I guess the cold doesn't bother him anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, okay. Anyway, so that is Luo right there. We got Yin, the little mechanic right here. The little mechanic, not the big mechanic, but he's a mechanically, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's got a workbench, so he's going to help you with your mechanical issues. Uh, all right, so, uh, but right here on his wrist, it looks like he's got a little wristband, so that's kind of cool, and I'm wondering if that's maybe a new layered clothing item. We can have people start getting, like, wristbands, uh, rings, I don't know. It'll be really cool, uh, but it's got a cool, cool little fanny pack right there as well. Next thing right here, HT, the Roblox fan. This guy is a Roblox fan. He's going to Roblox's offline event. I didn't know they had an offline event, but uh, he's got a little backpack thing, a shoulder strap, so that's new, and a wrist watch. So I'm thinking that these are these are some more layered clothing, guys. I think I think this is some more layered clothing stuff. Now his hat, right here, it says HT the Roblox fan, but right here it says Handsome Duke hat. No description on this one. I think that this one's probably for one of the Arthro packages, but. It said Handsome Duke, and I didn't find an Arthro package that said Handsome Duke. So maybe this is a separate hat. This could be probably for uh, another one of those bundles. Next thing right here, this MW backpack. We talked about it the other day, but I just wanted to show this. Apparently, Jaunty modeled and textured this one, but you guys, I should have figured it out. MW, Mansion of Wonder. Duh. So this is probably something that we're going to be able to get for free as a part of the build it, play it thing. So there's probably going to be a code that we're going to go into that game, enter it, and get this for free, which is awesome. I love this. This is a really cool looking thing. I really want it, and I want it to be free. So whenever that's available, I will make sure I make a video to let you guys know about it. And this other one right here, NM. Wasn't a whole lot of guesses. I don't know. Nothing that was clear. Some people said New Mexico, but I, I still have no idea what it's for. But hopefully this is something we can get as a part of the Mansion of Wonder Build It Play event as well for free. So that is it, guys, for the Roblox news for today. All sorts of cool things here coming up. And uh, RDC in October. That will be awesome. So thank you again for watching. If you're new here, would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we will talk to you guys later.